Dixon City, Pennsylvania, a real happening place. It's Frank the Lunatic Rants. That's right, people. I am back. Just when you thought everything was done and I was quiet for a while, you figured, oh, he's finally done ranting and raving and complaining. Guess what, people? I'm back. So, what I've got to rant about today. I've got a couple of things to rant about today. Only because of things that have just been irking me oh so much. Because of things I've experienced lately. And today, I'm going to rant about banks. That's right. Banks. The whole banking industry. Okay, here's my beef that I have. First of all, banks are getting ridiculous. Absolutely freaking ridiculous with the fees that they charge you. You know, a bank makes money because you put money in your bank and more than likely, unless it's a savings account, you're not making money on it. So they're not even paying you. Where years ago, they used to pay you. And if you have a savings account, you make shit anyway on interest. But anyhow, they take your money and they loan it out to other people. That's how they make their money. And they charge interest rates and they make tons of money back on it especially over a 30-year mortgage or five or six-year car loan. And that's how they make their money. So even though your money's there, it's not really there. It was loaned out to somebody. But anyhow, here's the problem. The greedy banks have gotten disgusting when it comes to the fees that they charge. The, well, honestly, ridiculous fees. Oh, you got to have a minimum of this much or we're going to charge you. In other words, they're saying, unless you have enough money to keep in the bank, we're not making money off you, which is bullshit because even if you had a dollar in your account, that dollar has now been loaned to somebody else and they're making money on it. So that's a crock of shit right there. The fees they charge to have the accounts, the fees they charge to go to the ATM machines, the fees they charge like PNC, the fees they charge if you go to the bank more than three times a month and go to a teller because they want you to go to an ATM machine. Then you have places like ever so wonderful Wells Fargo that certain accounts limit you. It's amazing. You only go to a, the bank so many times to speak to somebody. But certain accounts, you can't do certain things at the ATM machines. Gotta love that. I actually had an account with them where I was, I could not, I believe I couldn't deposit checks through the ATM machine for some reason because of the type of account it was. So you'd have to go to the bank. But don't do that too many times because then they'd start charging you. It was ridiculous. And again, you know, make sure you have this much in the bank and everything else or you're going to get charged or make sure you have, um, whatever, what was it? You, you needed to do, you know, 10 transactions on your card a month and all this other crap. Or you would get charged these idiotic fees for having an account with them. And the best part is they don't even care when you close out the account why you even left because you're not John Daver. You're not Rockefeller. Okay. Then, there's the fees they charge for things like bounce checks. That's another amazing thing. You know, some of these banks like PNC will charge you like 50 bucks for a bounce check. Why? I don't get it. It's not costing them anything, but anyhow, the businesses then charge you like 30, 40, 50 bucks. Why? I know people years ago with businesses and discovered that, you know, the banks only charge them like 10 bucks or something like that, you know, depending on their account for the for their insufficient fund you know for the check coming in but they'll charge you 50 bucks so they make 40 bucks on the deal or 20 but even 20 bucks that they they uh make on the deal and it's ridiculous they make they're making this money on you and it's absolutely ridiculous that they're they're even charging this unbelievable there is no such thing as free checking either. There's no such thing as free. Free doesn't mean free whatsoever. There's no such thing as free. Anyhow, then let's get to the matter of actual loans and borrowing money. All these banks, they put signs up. We have money to lend. You know, come on in now. They're trying to run all these deals and promotions and everything else to try getting people to borrow money so that they can make money. Did you ever go to the bank to borrow money? Yeah, good luck with that. It's absolutely amazing when a, when you can't get money from your bank. You can't get a lousy $2,500 from your bank. Oh, we can't approve you and all that. 
but yet, you know, they'll approve $15,000. It's amazing because it's all about the money and how much they're going to be able to make off you. That's basically what everything comes down to. How much money they're going to be able to make off you. The more you borrow, hey, they'll more, be more than happy to give you money to go out and buy a $50,000 car. Absolutely freaking amazing. They're yam bags. Complete and total yam bags. How they control everything. Disgusting. I'm starting to sound like Donald Trump now. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. We're going to get rid of them. Yeah. That's basically what it comes down to. Get rid of the damn banks. The way they freaking do anything. But it is true. It is true. It, I, I spoke to uh, the manager of the bank that I deal with. Wayne Bank. Hi. And uh, I came right outside. And, and he basically, he sort of agreed with me on it. Couldn't directly agree. But basically he was agreeing. You need money to borrow money. Came right out and told him, you need money to borrow money. If you don't have money, or you don't have money in your, you know, a lot of money in your accounts, the bank isn't going to loan you money. And that's absolutely right. You need money to get money. And they wonder why there are so many places out there, all these car places with the buy here, pay here, and all that, and, you know, guaranteed financing that charge you ridiculous interest rates, because the banks won't even give people a chance. Nope. Instead, you have, you're forced to go to some of these places and spend a fortune on a car. You know, turn around, spend ten grand on a car with 175,000 miles they, because you, because you didn't have the five thousand dollars to buy it off of someone who was actually selling it as a private person. That's what it comes down to. But anyway, banks are disgusting, absolutely disgusting. I'm so disgusted right now. I can't even talk anymore. Imagine that. So that, my friends, all I have to say about that.